We're now going to look at how to draw a one-point transparent box. Transparent means that it's something that we're going to be able to see through. That's what transparent means. A window is transparent. If you look back at the last volume, you'll see that I drew an opaque box. Opaque means that you can't see through it at all, like a brick wall. And then, of course, there's translucent, where the light will travel through the item, like, for example, light might travel through a piece of paper or a shower curtain, but you can't actually see through it like a piece of glass. Let's get started. In order to save time, I've drawn a one-point perspective opaque box, uh, just like the one that I did in the last volume. And now I'm going to make this transparent. In order to make the opaque box, I drew orthogonal lines that are depth lines, lines that go to the vanishing point, <clears throat> from every corner of the box without going through the front of the box. Now, in order to make this transparent, I need to draw a line from the final corner, the corner that I wouldn't be able to draw through if I were to make an opaque box. So this is going to be the final orthogonal line. Now here's my advice. Don't draw this orthogonal line all the way out of the back of the box. You don't need it to be that long and it'll only confuse you. And you'll see why in a second. I'm now drawing an orthogonal line. Now, I stopped it before the end of the box just as I had advised you. The reason why I did that is very simple. If you take a look at the front corner of the box right here and right here, we have an upside down L shape. It's actually upside down and reversed. Now, the back of the box, if you look at it, when we stop the box in space, it's also the exact same shape. Horizontal, vertical. Horizontal, vertical. In order to complete the back of the box, because the back of the box and the front of the box are exactly the same shape. They're both going to be these rectangular shapes. The only difference is that the back of the box has to be smaller because it is farther away from us. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw this L shape. So in other words, we need to make sure that the front of the box and the back of the box look essentially the same shape. Okay, so what we have here is this letter L shape. So we know that the back of the box also has that letter L shape using a vertical and a horizontal. What do we need to do? Well, obviously, the corners of the box go into orthogonal lines, just like that. So we know that the back of the box is also going to go into orthogonal lines like that. We know that the back corner that we haven't yet drawn also has to go into an orthogonal line, and it'll be that red line that we have right there. I'm going to switch back to red now. We know that the back corner of the box has to come out of this area right here, so we're going to draw straight down. And now we're going to use a horizontal line to finish off the box. Now I'm going to just erase any bit of line that shouldn't be there, and there we have it. Let me fill it in in red. This is the back of the box, right there in red. So if you take a look at this now, it looks as though we can see through all the sides of the box, except for perhaps now the back, since I've made it all red. This is a transparent one-point box. How can we tell it's transparent? Very easily. We can see one side, two sides, this top, that's the third side, four, the bottom, five, and finally the back, which is six. We can see all six sides of the box. And notice, of course, the front of the box and the back of the box are the same shape, just this back panel is smaller because it's further away from us, and, of course, the four corners are attached by orthogonal lines 
that all go to where? You guessed it, the vanishing point. There we have our transparent box.